Hello, 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 and welcome back to FPL with Old Man Phil. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you'll be updated when future videos are uploaded. And we are back to winning ways, and in this video we're just going to take a quick review of Game Week 11 and how we got on in Game Week 11. We got off to, we've had a very, very good week and back to winning ways as it were and we reached a game week score of 62 and that doesn't sound great but it did manage to get me a game week rank of 573k and that meant an overall score throughout the competition of 698 and that gives us an overall rank with a big green arrow of about 50k this week of 320k well on track for getting our 200 to 250k rank by Christmas time. So let's have a look at how the team got on and in goal um, Sanchez had a bit of a nightmare I was hoping for a six pointer from him but he got himself sent off and ended up with a minus one. Uh, Cancello um, got himself a haul of 14 which I was very grateful for and the uh, double up at the Chelsea, with the Chelsea defence worked about as well as the Manchester City defence um, where they conceded against Burnley. The better of the two was Rhys James who got himself an assist. Uh, ben White kept a clean sheet which gave him a total of five. Rafinha and Smith Rowe both scored. Um, and Salah picked up an assist as captain, giving him a game week score of 10. Up front, Antonio, Kane and Tony all blanked for the second game week running. And this is something that I probably need to address um, as time goes on. Livermento picked up six on the bench and with hindsight, it might have been better to play him rather than have him on the bench. But hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Um, there are things that I need to look at in this team. For example, I need to think about my goalkeeping situation for the next game week, but I will probably end up just playing Sanchez for a zero because his run of fixtures is pretty good in the coming game weeks. And I don't want to really transfer him out. My midfield, there will be some rotation over the next six or eight weeks. And up front, I need to sort out some problems up front. We're definitely not scoring up front. In terms of the score predictor, again, it was a very nice um, score. Um, not um, Southampton and Aston Villa, I predicted that to be 1-1, but Southampton managed to uh, hold off at Aston Villa for an incorrect score. Manchester United and Manchester City, I called that correctly, um, correct result, but I didn't get the score right. I thought it might be 3-1. And Brentford and Norwich, I didn't see Norwich getting their first victory of the season, um, and I predicted that Brentford would win 2-0, another incorrect score. Who would have known that Burnley would have drawn at Chelsea and many were predicting a big score for Chelsea. I did 4-0, but it turned out as a 1-1 draw. Crystal Palace beat Wolves 2-0, which I correctly predicted in that one. I was very happy to get at least one correct score at this point on the board. And Brighton and Newcastle, um, I thought Brighton might edge that one, but um, Newcastle did score and finished as a 1-1 draw. Incorrect result. Arsenal and Watford, I predicted the result correctly, but oh, not a correct score. Everton and Spurs, I thought Spurs would be good enough to beat Everton, um, and I predicted 2-0, but it finished up as a 0-0 draw. Leeds and Leicester was one that I called absolutely correctly, and that gave me uh, my second correct score of the game week at 1-1. And West Ham, well done West Ham for beating Liverpool, um, a great result for West Ham. I actually had that down as a Liverpool win 3-1, so that was another incorrect score. And that gave me a total game week score of eight points once again. And a running total, um, of which is very good, of 88. Keeping things all very nice, the game week average is eight, and that means that my percentage continues to be at 40%. And as I've said before, that is a very, very good percentage for the entire season so far, and I'm really hopeful that I can keep that up 
um, as the season progresses and finish with around 40 to 45 percent that will be awesome and finally against my watch list team um, how did we get on um, well Sanchez was in goal for my watch list team as well which didn't help uh, Trent Alexander did very well for Liverpool against West Ham picking up two assists with 12 but it's in midfield that they did particularly well with Gallagher and Bowen and my midfield is going to rotate over the next six to eight game weeks and I would seriously think that Gallagher, both Gallagher and Bowen will be in the, the team at some point. Bowen definitely from game week 16. Foden came off the bench for Ian Acho for a score of three. Uh, but again, the forwards didn't perform very well even for the watch list team. That gave the watch list team a score of 45 and we already know that I scored 62. So we are still in the lead over my watch list 11 and <laughs> happily so because that's how it should be. In fact, we're extending our, um, our lead over them. It would be very worrying if the watch list team was beating me week in, week out and I was actually trailing them at this point. So I'm very happy to be ahead um, by some 20 something points at this stage. And that's it for this video. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be updated when future videos in the series are uploaded. We've got a game week off now due to the international break, so I'll be back in a couple of weeks with a preview of game week 12 and what my plans are for that game week. And the scores, predictions of course, for that game week. And all that remains to be said now is see you in game week 12.